Nope. Dylan Walker. Trash driver who, well, that fits. Uh, <laughs> who still sucks and backs into wins like Austin Dillon. Hell yeah. Uh, is 67 taken because they didn't give us any backups? Uh, no. Somehow they got the number. Lucky. <laughs> they called their shot. They knew what they were getting. <laughs> um, go back to the profile for me real quick. They said they back into wins. What else they, have they given us? What's their team name? New Bracing Mid. Hmm. It's very strong. All right, you know what? Dylan the only Bowman thing we have to base off of is mid. And what's more mid than Arkansas? There's right? so many people saying Dylan Bowman. <laughs> I take offense to that. Thank you. Um, I feel like it should be like Arkansas <laughs> Jones. <laughs> I like it. Or since his last name's Walker, we could put Wheeler. You know what? Arkansas Jones fits better. Arkansas Jones is a good name to go alongside names like Anthony Von Samsung. And well, that's how Arkansas Jones was born. Welcome everyone to the Arkansas Jones NASCAR He5 Next Gen Career Mode. Of course, it's not going to be me as a driver this time. It's going to be Arkansas Jones. And this is not an AI career mode with the next-gen mod in NASCAR 5. I'll be controlling the car still, but we do have the free cam mod. And so we are ready to get going here. Let's go into Daytona here for the Daytona 500 qualifying. Qualifying for the Daytona 500, Arkansas Jones, a rookie for Joe Gibbs Racing, replaced March Rex Jr., retired after the 2022 season. We're going into 2023, um, a year late here, but we are Arkansas Jones for Fitz qualifying. And you can see there some drivers like Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson outside the top 10. And qualifying on the pole is Kyle or is Eric Jones. Let's go into Daytona. Here we are at Daytona International Speedway for the beginning of NASCAR's 75th year and for the running of the 65th Daytona 500. It's the second year of the next-gen car, and last year we had 19 different winners, winning a lot of parity. Will we see a lot of parity in 2023? We'll figure out. Let's go trackside for Daytona. And Michael McDowell, here's the story of the race. Michael McDowell's been struggling all weekend. Chandler Smith has to make stats start in the back, and J.J. Ailey has to start in the back as well. There's Arkansas Jones moving up to 38th here in the Daytona 500. Here we go, though, to begin NASCAR 75th year. The green flag is out the 65th. Daytona 500 is green and underway. Eric Jones leads them. Down the back straightaway here in Daytona, Arkansas Jones up to the 35th spot. His cousin, Eric Jones, out in front, and here we come off the final turn. Eric Jones from Michigan will lead the first lap of the Daytona 500, and Arkansas Jones' um, plan for the race is just to run somewhat aggressive and somewhat calm. He's going to try to run aggressive later on in this race. He's now to the back bumper of Austin Hill in the 62 car here, and you can see they're on the inside. He makes the move right behind Ty Dillon. And this career mode will be way better than the console career mode. We'll have um, course silly season and schedule changes within career mode and not in we're not going to do a season mode where those schedule changes will happen like they did on playstation but meanwhile um focusing back in on the race right now arkansas jones goes up to the 36th spot right there 32nd behind the 36th car of zane smith lap three jones trying to make it outside of the top 30 of course, right now, and Kevin Harvick in his final Daytona 500 now takes the race lead away and contact there with him and Zane Smith. 
Arkansas Jones now goes up behind the 51 of Cole Custer. Cole Custer's in the 51 car in this 2023 mod. That is not a change that I did. It's just the modders did, of course. But I'm running right behind Cole Custer right now in the 51 car. And Custer going to the inside of the number two of Austin Sindrick. And look at this, gonna go three wide off the exit of turn number three and four. You can see their contact though with Austin Sindrick and Cole Custer, moving Cole Custer down low and Cole Custer moves up to the 24 spot. Of course, as you can see there, Arkansas Jones now inside the top 25 here in the Daytona 500, gonna get him another push to the back end of Cole Custer. Now going to go to the inside of the 14 of Briscoe, or at least going to try to. Briscoe last season, one win going into 2023. Of course, I know um, we're a year behind because there's no 2024 mod. Maybe there was. Yeah, obviously, I would start with the 2024 season, but 2024 will be the season number two of this NASCAR E5 Next Gen Career Mode. Meanwhile, on the inside there, Arkansas Jones goes to the bumper, or goes to the inside right there. Busher on the top side now, this 19. The 19 of Arkansas Jones moves to the inside lane, and here he comes up to the 45 of Reddick. But we skip ahead now to the end of lap six because, well, nothing really happened much. He finally gets to the back end of the 45 car of Tyler Reddick. Three wide and in the middle on the inside. It's Justin Haley, and on the outside, it's the one of Chastain. And Jones actually tags the wall right there. Now fast forwarding a bit to turns three and four later in the lap. Coming about to the end of it, to the bumper he goes on the 23 of Bubble Wallace for 2311 racing. And here he comes. He's going to make the move to the outside right now. And at the line, he was 17th. Now going to come up here to the outside. He's going to now go to the outside of Chase Elliott. Coming up on Austin Dillon in the three. Noah Gregson in the 42. Chase Elliott last season had the most wins out of any driver. And today, well, he's running in 15th place. We'll see how well 2023 is. Of course, we know in real life, 2023 was abysmal for Chase Elliott. Will 2023 here in the Heat 5 Next Gen Career Mode be even better for Chase Elliott? We'll have to figure that out, though, at season's end to see how really well his season goes right now. As now Arkansas Jones going to go to the back end of Austin Dillon. He makes contact. No Gregson. And there we go. Oh, Arkansas Jones to the inside. He comes up into the 42. Big crash. Bubba Wallace involved in it. And this is the big one at Daytona. Multiple cars up in the air. Bubba Wallace nearly on his side, nearly on his lid. And a big crash. The big one strikes at Daytona on lap eight. Of course, a really insane crash right there. And well, everyone's going to be okay in it. Of course, we will have driver injuries in this career mode with it being modded and stuff like that. So, But everyone's going to be okay from that wreck right there. And um, Arkansas Jones makes the way through the wreck right now. Of course, Ryan Blaney, your leader currently in the day, Tono 500, then it's Joey Logano, AJ Allmendinger. In third, that's your top three. As we come to the first restart of the race here in the Daytona 500, here we go. The green flag will be back out here on lap 11, 20 laps to go. And of course, with this free cam mod, um, there is in fact custom or new race links you can select. So this is actually a 20% race link here, and you can do 10% even a thousand percent races so it but anyway you can see there a bit of a checkup on the restart with ricky stenhouse jr on the outside of suarez right now they're going to be three by three here at daytona international speedway to the outside of busher right now goes arkansas jones and you can see there right behind him is going to be chase elliott chase elliott right now going to push arkansas jones up to the back end of the 99 of daniel suarez a big run off the exit of turn number four right now and coming to the line will be 19 laps remaining here at daytona in the daytona 500 the 19 car of course running in the 14th spot as you can see there are two cars to the outside eric jones and kyle bush on the outside 
right now. We're just stuck 3 wide in the middle at Arkansas Jones was, and he finally found the run to the inside, and Arkansas Jones goes to the inside right there in contact there with the number 99 of Daniel Suarez. Eric Jones in the 43 car right in front of him. And right now off of this turn, it'll be 18 to go right now at Daytona. Of course, Kyle Busch, first season with RCR. We'll see how he does. Real life, three wins at Auto Club, Talladega, and Gateway. So we'll see what Kyle Busch can do this time by in the modded NASCAR 3 next gen crew mode. And Arkansas Jones gets to Eric Jones. Jones makes contact with Jones and Eric Jones spins back straight away caution will come out for the second time in the race we skip ahead now actually to the restart of this race it'd be 15 laps to go halfway in the daytona 500 right now the cross flags were in the air halfway done 15 down 15 to go of course here in the 30 lapper daytona 500 jones makes contact though with kyle bush on the inside lane three wide up the middle even more contact with busher and bush busher and bush right there on the outside and insides of arkansas jones and arkansas jones right now actually behind his teammate at ty gibbs two rookies at joe gibbs racing this year ty gibbs and arkansas jones jones goes back to the bumper of the 54 he goes to the inside it's gonna be four wide contact all four even more contact big contact even more chastain in the wall hard no caution the race will stay green actually and we nearly have the second big one of the race 14 to go in the day it's on a 500 skipping ahead two laps later and chastain who we accidentally put in the wall now is pushing us he's now going to be side by side with ricky stenhouse jr chase elliott running in the 12th position on the outside you can see there Ricky Stenhouse Jr. goes 11 to go. Of course, now the day it's on a 500. AJ Allmendinger is actually leading this race. So Allmendinger, could he win full time back in the Cup Series? And finally, we get back up to this pack a lap or so later. Uh, up to the back end of Chase Hell. You can see there a lot of damage to that race car, but not really affecting his handling on that race car. He still has a really fast race car, it seems like. And... He has a car capable of staying with the pack. We go to the inside of Chase right now. Blaney on the outside. Blaney in the most recent season in 2022 is winless. Was winless. He won the all-star race this season. Well, he's trying to get redemption and trying to go back to victory lane. Can he do it in the Daytona 500? Meanwhile, it's the 48. Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman now to the lead in the Daytona 500 coming up right now it's gonna be eight laps to go here in daytona eight to go in the daytona 500 arkansas jones now to the back end of 2019 summer winner justin haley who won that race in dramatic fashion and one of the most shocking nascar wins in history i mean one in his only what his third start second start i think it was actually his third start um one in an arranged turn race at Daytona hasn't won since then. You can see there Hamlin on the inside, three time Daytona 500 winner, and 2016, 2019, and in 2020. And you can see they're three wide up through the middle. Chase Elliott actually behind Arkansas Jones pushes them. And in this race, Cindric trying to go back to back in 500 in the Daytona 500, but he's not even up here in contention to win it. But you can see there, I can't actually tell who's leading this race at this point of the race it might be bubble walsh or someone leading this race i honestly can't tell to be honest with you it might be bell i i can't tell but you can see there arkansas jones pushes the back end of the 31 and he's gonna split the colleague teammates of almendinger and haley off of turns three and four though he's gonna split them merely perfectly going to make contact with them and here comes chase elliott again elliott pushes back into the 19 elliott seems to be a big fan of arkansas jones he is helping him here in the daytona 500 late and you can see up here 
Leading the Daytona 500, we get a good shot on now. It's actually Kevin Harvick in his final Daytona 500, leading the way through in his final season. It'd be a big story if Kevin Harvick would win the Daytona 500 in his final season. He won it in dramatic fashion in 2007, beating Mark Martin by a nose. But this time around, he wants to win it kind of in less dramatic fashion, not in a photo finish. He has a really good shot at doing it two wins last season at Richmond and Michigan. This time by, it'll be five laps to go for the four car of Kevin Harvick. Five laps to go right now in the Daytona 500. The top five is Harvick, Larson, Arkansas Jones now makes the pass. Then it's going to be actually now your new top five. Well, I'm not going to tell you guys because it keeps on changing. And oh, we got contact. Larson in the wall. Debris drops off the car. And now we get a caution. This changes everything here. As we get the restart going, Arkansas Jones has been really good on restarts all day. Harvick, well, he really, I guess, has. And here we go. Arkansas Jones now jumps up to the lead here. In the day, 2500 on the restart. It's two to go. No overtime. This is not an overtime finish officially. We're still in regulation, actually. Will they make it around to the final lap? Three wide behind him, though. You can see there Larson with the move. Harvick now with the run. Elliott on the inside. Arkansas Jones goes up the block. He goes up the block again. Nearly in the wall there. You can see there. Larson now going to get the run right behind him. Ovendinger giving him the arrow push. Going down in turns three and four here with two laps to go in the day. 2500. Kyle Larson leads it. Or Kyle Larson in second. Arkansas Jones leads it in his first career start. Can Arkansas Jones, a driver that back in, backs in to wins, can he win it? White flag officially out in the Daytona 500. In his old racing days, he raced for a team called New Racing Mid in the Goodies Trash Series. Moving now up to the big leagues of NASCAR. He goes at the Black Larson, but here he goes. Big run. Chase Elliott on the inside. Justin Haley through now on the inside. Arkansas Jones has choked it all away. Austin Dillon on the inside. Ryan Blaney to the inside of him. Chase Sally has no challengers really except for Justin Haley, but Justin Haley has no help. And here they come off turn three and four. Elliott with the lead. Justin Haley in second. Elliott last year was really dominant. He's going to continue his dominance going into the day. Chase Sally wins the day, 2500. Wow, Chase Sally with one of the most damaged cars in the race wins the day, 2500. Here, in fact, are your results. Chase Elliott holds off Justin Haley, and those are your top 10 results. Chase Elliott now burns down the house here at Daytona International Speedway. It's career win number 19, and it's his sixth in the last year, and he goes back-to-back -back on Super Speedway. So that'll do it for the first episode in NASCAR 5 Next Gen Career Mode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is DWR. Don't forget to like, subscribe, road to 1,000 subs. Peace out, homies.